Hello everyone. How is everyone doing? Everyone is early today. I'm early. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm muted, right? Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> hey, 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 Jay. How are you doing, Gemma? How's it going? Violet, Zo Marie, good to see you. Garbage cow. <laughs> hey. Ali, how's it going? Right, 13. You told me what your name was the other day and I completely forgot now. <laughs> Chantel, how's it going? Your name always comes up yellow as well and I can never read it properly. It's 7 a.m. for you. Good morning, Bamboo. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Kristen, thank you. <laughs> I think I'm how's it going? Vermilion. Happy weekend. I'm kind of out of focus, right? I'm just gonna put my microphone up quickly. Whoops. Hmm. Maybe it's just a bit too dark in here. <laughs> so I'm sorry, everyone. I was meant to stream yesterday um, and then completely forgot that I had people over during the day. So I was like, I can't sit in here and stream while people are around so um that was cancelled um thank you tiana my my favorite princess hey melissa darlene Horace, Horace by veronica hey yeah so yesterday was a weird day did anyone catch a coronation on tv it was strange right <laughs> just me so it's a little bit weird it was a bit of a weird day, and today is like, you would think today is like New Year's Day, where it's completely silent outside, and like, nothing's happening. Like, I could go outside, and it's just, well, I mean, I live in a quiet area, but I mean, cars, I can't hear anything, it's so strange. I have to be honest with you, I, <laughs> I tuned into the coronation, thank you so much for subscribing! Vanny X, thank you so much. Actually, you know what? I should put my headphones on my neck so I can hear the um, things come up. I just hate putting headphones on. I'm not going to do it today. Um, why don't I have a call to carry? Yeah, I, I missed it because we were getting the house ready because people were coming over and was like, crap, we haven't cleaned the kitchen. So we were cleaning up and stuff. King Charles looked awful. The whole thing was weird. And all they were talking about was how Harry was in the third row. I know. I... I have to be on, and this is, I mean, please don't want to be offended by this, but I turned it on and I was like, that man, it was after the coronation, he had all the stuff on. I was like, that man looks so uncomfortable and he looks ridiculous with all this stuff on. I was like, this is insane. And all I, I was just like, he, he, it, it's like mutton dresses lamb. It was so strange. I was, I was like, this is too much. This is too much. Give him a certificate, shake his hand, you know? <laughs> he he did look bored. He did look bored. Oh, I love how Stream Elements is now live streaming. Who is me? <laughs> Princess Charlotte and Kate looked so good. Yeah, everyone everyone looked really nice. Um, I didn't know who any. I'm very bad at royal family and um everything, so I don't really know who anyone was. But everyone looked cute. But yeah, give it. You know what I mean? Like just get like be like you know what you're king now. We don't need to do a whole thing. Ella, thank you so much for subscribing for three months. Thank you. You're on a three month streak. Thank you. Um, It was just, how streaming life? It's all right, Ella. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you just reminded me, actually. I've plugged, I've done the internet the old fashioned way. Someone recommended to me last time I was streaming to put, um, what's it called? When you stick like the old internet cable into the actual computer and connect back to the internet. And I haven't seen my internet dropping out so far. And usually it's Ethernet. Thank you. Yeah. So I've done that. So it seems to be, oh, I said that and it dipped down to yellow, but it seems to be green all the way. Um, and sometimes it dips down to red when it means it's like not on, but it seems better today. So hopefully we have a nice smooth stream today. But you know what, the, the ceremony was weird. It was really strange. I do find, I don't know. I don't know. It's just really, really weird. And then the fact that today is like quiet. It's like, yeah, I don't think the majority, majority of people are celebrating. Just happy about the bank holiday weekend. I think so. Sorry, I'm moving my microphone, so sorry. Just so I can see the keyboard. Um, yeah, it was a strange one. It was very strange. 
And then, like, the, the news, like, the news on TV for the rest of the afternoon was, crowds has gathered today to celebrate the coronation of King Charles, and they're all eating sandwiches in the street. What a lovely time. And it was like, okay, we, we know what's happening. Like, give us normal news now. I wonder how many people could be fed and housed for the cost of that golden carriage. Pro- they could probably solve hunger in a lot of areas. It's in, And you know what? I just feel like, I don't know. Horace by Veronica, thank you so much. Is it doing that thing where it's just saying, you know, you've already subscribed and it's just telling me again. <laughs> I was saying on the fr- um, couch with a throat infection, no. And in the background, I heard the church music from the coronation. Felt like I was at my own funeral, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen some protests as well. I've seen some memes. Why are they called bank holidays? I don't know. I used to think it was called the bank because the bank was shut. I don't know. I had another makeup class yesterday with an MUA and it was amazing. Oh, amazing, Melissa. Was it the same one or or a different one you had before? Thank you for following Elmira. That's a nice name. I like that. That's nice. Did you see the Grim Reaper video? I did. Yeah. To be fair, that was probably just a British priest with bad posture. Bank shot, that's exactly why. Oh, is that why? Finally catching this stream. Hi, peeps. Hey, uh, Rushinka? Rushinka? <laughs> A different MUA and she was so, so awesome. Oh, amazing, Melissa. That's good. Yeah, it used to be banks would close. They shut every day at 12 o'clock anyway. <laughs> so listen, I had an epiphany today or last night even when I was thinking, thank you so much for subscribing. Like, like, Properly, bye. <laughs> hey, Tin of Jen, how's it going? I feel like I haven't seen you for a while. Or have I? Love your streams, thank you so, so much. I I had this like wave off, like you can do better than this, right? Love a background, thank you. I, I got a new Sailor Moon wand. I know some of you might have seen, <laughs> excuse me, seen at the end of the other stream. My little Sailor Moon collection. I now added this one to the collection. <laughs> Gifted sub, thank you so much. Vanny, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. How cute is this? Chased my dogs around with it this morning. I loved it. Stacey Pease, thank you so much for following. You can you can see more of me doing this. I got this. I ordered. Well, this was this was pre-order. No, I ordered this from eBay ages and ages and ages ago. I actually forgot I ordered it because it took so long to come. Like Pat McGrath products, and um, I ordered a pre-ordered another one from Forbidden Planet, um, which is coming soon. But this one came yesterday. You know what? It's so funny. See, Charles wanted that as his scepter. I all I could think about Teresa was this when I was looking at him. I was like, that man looks like his. Uh, a non-pink version of Sailor Moon. Let me put it back. Oh, I love that scepter. I can't get enough Sailor Moon related things. I know. Addicted. Don't want that to fall. That's a pricey bit of plastic. I put a stream in the background and sleep. You rest. You do what you need to do. Okay, so what I built last week, was it last week, ended up looking like this church. Do you remember? Oh, also I got the Ole Henriksen banana bright under eye thingy. You were so right. Ah, oh, love it. Husband wants me to get apricot one for him. It is so good. It is, it is, I love that brand at the moment. I'm really, I'm into them. I'm into them. Primark has started selling Sailor Moon things. Are you kidding? Ah! I love a surprise of mystery boxes from random eBay purchases. You've forgotten exactly. Hey, Holly, how's it going? Um. Okay, so I built this, Um. like the idea, right, was to build... What's her name again? Maud? No, what's her name? Eunice. Eunice. Um, to build a place where she can make some friends, right? And I was, because because we kept going to that bubble tea place, but it's just like old, old, not old people, probably people that are younger than me, but adults kept turning up. I was like, how was she meant to make any friends this way? So we're, go- we're creating a teen hangout. I made it last week and I was like, no, we can do better than this. Scrap what we did last week. We're starting again. We're starting from scratch. And I want to make it, a restaurant, I think, a public kind of area, so they can actually do things and stuff, and I might even make a family down the line that own it, and see see how it goes. My um, BFF of 20 years old, and I bonded in high school over Sailor Moon, I even made her Sailor Moon wedding cake, that is so cute. 
I had my windows open for um, this morning for the first time since four. I live, live by Niagara Falls. I know I can hear right now seagulls. That's nice, bro. A nice teen hangout, not a teen, teen hangout like from 1960s, where it's things like hanging out under a bridge. Yeah, not that in the park drinking a bottle of Lambrini kind of hangout. <laughs> I was thinking though, talking about 90s, I'm thinking early 90s. My thought last time was Saved by the Bell. I want to create the kind of teen hangout where you're watching like a program on a Disney channel and it's a place they go after school. And for some reason, the guy who works and owns it is um, insanely stupid and like um, needs to go back to school. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go into it. Let's go into it. Here we are. I've chosen this area. So this is still in the same little town, but I kind of want to make this area maybe like a little row off. We're not far from the Love Shack. So the Love Shack's here. And I'm thinking we can have some kind of like crappy little seedy diner here next to this Love Shack. Maybe it's a bit of a rougher part of town. You know what I mean? So today we are making the teen hangout for Eunice to make some friends because she has not made any friends and it's embarrassing. And maybe Wolfgang will turn up. Maybe, I don't know. Hello, Brighton Airy from Florida. Oh, how's it going over there? Love, love Shack, exactly. All right, that's um, what all the team talk was out. Yes, yes. So I don't know if you saw last, uh, no, I don't think you did see last week. I um, was trying to make a teen hangout and it just looked like, um, honestly, it looked like a, um, a, a disused Mormon church. Like it looked like we'd taken over. It was like a modern looking church building. Uh, yes, you collected all of the level one emotes. Oh, that's cute. Do I know what that means? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Tell me if the music is too loud for you. I'm not putting headphones on today. I can't be bothered with a headache. So I'm thinking if we can have like a raised building, I want to put, um, I want stairs down. How am I going to be able to do this? Not disuse my church. Yeah. You know, when you go past a church and it's like, oh, that's really modern. Is that someone's house? And like, oh no, it's a Mormon church. Or no, not Mormon. What's the other one? What's the one where that's like, um... It was like shiny and colorful and vibrant once, but it's a little grimy and scuff now, like adding crack floors from the werewolf pack. Yeah, Scientology, thank you, Sheila. Yeah. Okay. So let's do, so I'm thinking in the entrance, right, we'll have a little raised area where, you know, they can go in or whatever. What am I doing? And then step down. You know, like in Saved by the Bell, where it steps down into the restaurant? Hey, Robert, I love putting your stream on while truck driving, so it feels less lonely. Don't worry, I have voice text. Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> this is going to sound really strange, but I'm probably romanticizing your career in my head. But I feel like there's something really calming about truck driving. Is that weird? Glad I wasn't the only one. Wait, the only one, what, what did I miss? Did I say something stupid? <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking steps up, like almost like diner entrance, but not really, you know what I mean? I missed last week's in the stream because I was in Helsinki. Oh, that's for like fun or was it like business? My aunt was a truck driver and I got to go with her a few days once. It was great. Yeah, see? Oh, let's sing in Love Shack. Yeah. <laughs> I do every time. I just, I can't actually sing out loud, so I don't. Let's just raise this up a little bit more. Maybe one more. And then let's do, so I'm thinking stairs up to here. And then I want, hmm, how are we going to do this? You know what? Let's do a platform uh, like this one. Is that in the middle? That's kind of central. And then... No, that's kind of thick. No, that's gross. Okay, let me just move that quickly. I want kind of doors. Uh, bear with. No, what am I doing? Okay. So I wanted... <laughs> you know what? Delete it. Delete it. Delete everything. <laughs> 
Burgers and fries type of place. Exactly. Yeah. A fun a cruise with my husband and my parents. Oh, that's nice. A cruise. We just booked um, Disneyland Paris with my fiance's family. Um, because it will be his niece's first time to any Disney park. How cute is that? I cannot wait for her to experience everything. I just, re I just realized what I'm doing wrong. I can't talk and do at the same time. It, yeah, it's gonna be great. Do you ever think of me every time I work on my masters? <laughs> I'm starting to get things packed up as we're getting keys to our new home tomorrow. Ah, Teresa. Oh, amazing, congratulations. God, I bet that was a stressful time for everyone. So what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I can't get my idea to work. I can't get my idea to work. Disney World for us next week. Doesn't feel real yet. Oh my God, have a best time. That's gonna be amazing. Thank you for following Eve, Mia. Thank you so much. My passport should be coming any day now so I can book trips in Mexico and the UK. Fun time. That's going to be incredible. Right. I'm trying to, I want to add like a out here flat square, but I don't, I don't want it to, I don't want it to, to do this. And what am I doing wrong? You can tell I'm not a Sims builder in any way. I want it set, I want it to be separate. Robert, about my coffee morning question. I rewatched the video. Oh yeah, I was talking about you and James were doing hair hacks and you had the cupcake hair. I said, imagine showing up, oh, to a coffee morning like this. I'm assuming you meant a girl's brunch. So, so I don't know, maybe it's just, Sheila, are you in the US or in the UK? So, I so coffee morning is like, I don't know what it is. It's like when, I, usually it's like, you're in the US by, oh yes, by Niagara Falls. So for for me, our, our personal thing is like, your mum would go to co have coffee with her friends in the morning. You know, it's not quite brunch. It's it's more like, let's um, meet for coffee before we get on with the day kind of thing. Um, and there used to be this where we, I haven't done anything apart from move this platform around. I'm so sorry. Um, and where we, oh fuck, you know what? Start again. Start again. Everything's annoying me. So where we um where we used to live, there was this um like shack, not shack. That sounds terrible. This place, and um, I'm just gonna build it like this. And it was like we used to call it like the old old people shed when we were really young. And it was like this little room where it was for um older people to go and have like discounted coffee and discounted tea and have like a nice little morning. And so coffee morning to us is like, <laughs> turn up to see all your friends, you know, talk about your husbands, it's a coffee morning. Or some people do like, um, um, like they stitch together, stitch and bitch, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Cause, yeah. Okay, now I can like raise just this whole building. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that before. A bit more. Okay. Oh, sorry about it, everyone. My mum used to do that at our local 24 diner. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried the new Costa drinks yesterday, Holly. What are they like? Ooh. You're making old people's... Old... Oh, my God. We have to do a coffee morning stitch and bitch old people shack, right? <laughs> okay, let's... Put in some stairs. I want stairs here, stairs here. Um, I'm thinking of the outside. Keep it kind of classic, you know. Uh, maybe, maybe brick. So almost like university esque. You know what I mean? So like, you know what it is? It's always the like the kids in like the Disney things or like the Nickelodeon 
TV shows always seem like older when it's ours. Like what when they are? Like why are you twelve but needing to go and get coffee every day after school? Um, really, need to tell, um, really feel I need to tell you that I found both you and James a few months ago. You both have quite literally saved my life. Oh my god, thank you. Uh, thank you so much to you both for sharing your content and being real. I'm 45 and have only just started using skincare and makeup. Thanks to you both. Thank you. That's so kind. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. No 12 year old needs coffee. They have too much energy as it is. Exactly. You know what? I remember being late for work and trying to, um, because of, of course I'm going to go to Starbucks before work, <laughs> even if I'm late and get what I need to get. And I just remember it must have been like a school trip or something were in front of me. And they were like, all of them were just ordering like, you know, like the non-coffee frappuccinos. I was like, kids, I was like, you don't understand. I really need to go to work. But at the same time, I really need this. <laughs> I really need this. For, to, uh, not just because I'm like, oh, I need coffee, but because it's like my routine, you know? And I hate breaking routines. Priorities, exactly, exactly. I... <laughs> So I'm thinking I want like an, an a, a classic door, but one that looks slightly more modern. Maybe something like this. That doesn't look modern in any way. That looks too office -y, doesn't it? I had a student try and have Starbucks and McDonald's delivered to the school with Grubhub. Um, no, you're 12. That's so strange, um, Melissa. We we get um, um, t a thing come up saying that it can't be delivered to schools if we want to order any kind of food. Even if we're not at a school, you know, of course I'm not at a school. <laughs> but I didn't even think of that. Like kids can just like, or I, you know, I actually quite like this one. Let's go a little bit lighter though. To, is that cute? That's kind of cute. Maybe that can be like our vibe of the outside. Very, I don't know what that is to be fair. Why do 12 year olds have money for that? I know, can you imagine? Yeah, I'll have, I'll have a seven pound uh, cup of blended ice. I totally would though. I'm lucky while doing my makeup as I'm actually leaving the house today for lunch with my family as it's my birthday tomorrow. Oh my God, happy birthday for tomorrow. The big 38, I mean, two more, two more, two more years left until the dreaded 40. 40 is the new 30 and 50 is the new 40s. You're okay. His mum gave him a debit card. Oh my God. Lucky kid, my parents would never. I want some brick, brick. I want like, mm, coffee house. That's brick. Uh, I started drinking coffee at like seven years old with a ton of milk and sugar. Ooh, my first time trying coffee was with my dad. And he gave me black coffee. And he just said it was disgusting. I remember trying coffee for the first time. I was like, what are you? I was like, how do people drink this? What are you doing to yourselves? It's terrible. I'm uh, not sure why we are talking about coffee. I had to leave for a second. That's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> my mum tells me I've been drinking Red Bull. I'm 32. Same, Jen. My mum does exactly the same. My parents would have kicked my ass if my school told them I tried something like that. Yeah. I remember we used to sneak out of our school at lunch on Fridays to get dominoes. We really thought we were inconspicuous coming out of school gate with 12 boxes. Do all countries have iced coffee? I've never heard some European countries don't offer it. Um, as far as I'm aware, I we have it and through winter as well. And most countries I've been to have it also. Steph, hi Robert, I got married last weekend and used the Sigma Eye Primer as per your recommendation and it worked like a charm. Congratulations. Oh my God. Ooh, weddings. I hope you have the best day. And yeah, that Sigma Primer. What a dream. What a dream. I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use that now. Whenever somebody asks me, I know someone who got married and used it and it was, I'm just going to use that all the time. That's all you're going to hear me talking about. <laughs> Ice coffee with almond milk. Yeah, it makes it like creamy. It's beautiful. Hey, Terry, how are you doing? Good to see you. My daughter is 28 and I keep telling her she should stop drinking Monster. Yeah, we, yeah, Monster isn't a good one. Okay, I'm thinking for windows. I feel like we should have one like kooky window. You know what I mean? Maybe around the side and have like a little seating area, but maybe we can do that when we get to the interior. Um, and then here, mm, they're kind of boring, right? But at the same time, I'm like, they're cute. 
Do they match this? No, that's gross. That's really ugly. Wow. What are these called? What's this door called? Because I kind of want to... Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I have ADHD and coffee wrecks me, but I still drink it. You have to do what you have to do. Do you know Costa has stopped almond milk now and swapped it for something called ult Ultimate Blend? Was that like Starbucks Nut Blend or whatever it was that they did? It was never specific. It was just a nut blend. <laughs> Sort of caramel espresso frappe is my coffee order. Don't care if it's middle of winter. Absolutely. I'd rather be cold than hot, and that includes my drinks. I have to, if I'm getting a hot drink, I have to ask for it to be um, warm so I can drink it because I can't drink really, really hot drinks. So I've, listen, this is embarrassing. I've been having massages because I have a really bad neck and shoulders and it stems from like my my makeup artist days just not um just having bad posture and doing people's makeup like this and not having proper chairs and everything like that i was doing it for, for so many years it's kind of wrecked up my my shoulders a little bit i think we're gonna have to go oh yeah they're cute it's yeah it's wrecked up my shoulders a little bit so um it's more like it's not like nice massage as in like we're healing no we're having a nice you know coffee morning massage it's more like um corrective and like um not medical because it's it's not like you know but it, it's whatever and she was like oh i'm gonna use hot stones today and immediately i panicked because i'm really sensitive to heat in everything like i can't even open ovens because i'm scared of the heat and um i'm scared of it and i'm my skin is like sensitive to to, the, to heat and she put this hot stone on me and I've never felt anything like it in my fucking life. I wanted to die. I was like, this is what hell is like. It was so hot. Um, and I was like, <laughs> cause you don't wanna be like, oh my God, that's so hot. I was like, oh, that actually, that's quite, um, that's quite warm actually. You know, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> trying to be cool. Don't be embarrassed, whatever helps you not be in pain is a good thing, I swear, by having a float every once in a while to relax everything. A float? She drinks over three a day? Are we talking about energy drinks here? I must admit, I do like a sneak now and then, but too many energy drinks, energy drinks really can't be good for you. No, it can't. I do drink a lot of black coffee though, so maybe I should hush up. I, You know what? I would, I would feel safer with black coffee than energy drinks, right? The British ring are never complaining in full. Exactly. The politest way to to scream out in pain. <laughs> I'm guessing Oz was not much fun when you were there with the heat. I was actually really lucky that I was there during winter. Um, and I we left just before it was summer. So I went into end of winter, no, end of whatever cold season it was in England, then into like it getting cold into Australia and then freezing cold in Melbourne. And it was it was perfect. I, I had winter for a year. It was, well, what's the one before winter? That and winter for a whole year, autumn. Good morning, everyone couldn't sleep. And then saw Robert was on. I was like, yay, Kittens McGee, how are you doing? Um, I had... An ad interrupt a stream. What's with the hot stones? I had a, a massage and um, I'm going weekly to, to fix my shoulders because I get really bad headaches um, and anything can trigger it. Like I, I get headaches from smells. So, some fragrances I can't use, some of my fragrances because they give me a headache. And she, was, she went to use hot stones on me and I've never had them before. I was like, yeah, no, that's, I can't do that. It was, it was too hot, but <laughs> it was the most painful thing. But I was just really polite and I, I didn't want to like scream. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. That That's so cute. Oh, you know what would be really cute? Like a little, yeah, let's do it. Let's do a little balcony here. Like a little, I'm gonna keep calling it coffee morning. Little coffee morning area. That'd be really cute. Look at me designing. <laughs> I wouldn't mind winter for a year as long as it didn't have to shovel feet or snow. You know what? I've never been in that situation. But I, I love the idea of snow. But then I know it must get really annoying for people who have to deal with it all the time. You know what I mean? Where's my little dropper thing? Let's, let's do that. This is cute. Uh, oh, she can have she can have many friends on this balcony. <laughs> 
Autumn all year round would be ideal, I know, right? I didn't know they were that hot. I have a um, perfume allergy and certain fragrances can also give um, cause me a headache. Yeah, it sucks, yeah. Fragrance, um, candles, driving, the smell of, you know, cars. I get a massage at my chiropractor and it hurts so bad, I re um, but I refuse to complain and it's helping my back exactly. I need to play with Sims. I think I played it a few times at a friend's house as a, when I was a kid. Oh, so much has changed in a good way. <laughs> Let's get this all around. Oh, that's a little bit darker, isn't it? Is there a different kind of brick? Is that one lighter? Oh, we're just going... Actually, you know what? It's kind of nicer to have a bit of a different brick. Okay, we're going for that. That's fine. I guess we can't change that. Is this all round? Is this all round? You know what? It looks like a firehouse. Whoopsie. Um, come to come to Norway if you want snow rubber. I'll even let you shovel some of it. The thing is with Norway is that everyone's super good looking and it's really intimidating. <laughs> but I would I would love to go to Norway. I would really really love to go to Norway. That's on my list. Me and my boyfriend tried commodity scents. He loved them. I love the commodity scents. We actually um should be or um on our podcast talking to the founder of Commodity, which I'm really, really can't wait to do. This build does look like a disused fire station. Maybe we should make that the theme for it. We'll call it the fire station. And the kids can be like, are you are you hanging out at the fire station today? You know? See you at the fire station today. Okay, let's... Uh, Robert. Is it the worst when you go to leave for work at 5.30 a.m. Ew. And you go outside to discover the city plow has shoved all the snow into the foot of the drive. And you can't get out unless you shovel all of it before it turns to solid ice. I would, I would stay in. I would like, you know what? I, my throat, I would hang upside down off the bed, hold my nose and call in sick. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I've had sports massages before and he complained that I wasn't in pain. <laughs> I explained I was just being quiet about it. It's okay though, they were really helpful for my body. And it was lovely, he just worried about my sensory stuff. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, I'm here so you're fine when all good looking. Oh no. Right, I'm going to Norway to see all the face. <laughs> you know what, we, um. so when I worked in Epcot, in um, Disney World, sorry when I worked in Epcot and I was in the the UK pavilion, for anyone who hasn't been there before, Epcot has um, the World Showcase, which is basically loads of people from all the different countries and they have people from that country. And I was working in the UK one and there's Norway as well. These Norwegian people, I it was, it was a joke. Like they were all so pretty. They just looked so, so nice. And they all had, it's, it's really strange because I notice things. <laughs> As a makeup artist, when I'm staring at people, I notice really strange things and they all had really nice brow bones. Like their eye, their brow bones were really, really nice. <laughs> that so, that sounds so stupid. I'm gonna put this up here. Not for anything, we're not gonna put anything here, but I can't be bothered to do anything with the roof. Uh, we'll change the color of that later. So do outside for a bit. Um, I would love to experience a proper fall and winter. I live near Houston, Texas, and four seasons are basically summer, summer light, kind of summer, and then three weeks of winter. <laughs> I hate doing roofing on Sims. Mine always looks stupid. Yeah, they're just really underwhelming. Not me looking in the mirror to see if I have that Norwegian look. You probably do when you, you don't realise it. We put this in the corner, then we have like some nice tables out here or something, you know? And maybe we'll put one of these windows next to it here. Okay, I wanna work on the outside a little bit. I'm thinking maybe like a neon sign here, which we can just blow up and make a little bit big. Is this um, place instead of a disco place with the bins and fire escape or as well as? This is instead, cause I want it to make a little bit better, but that part of town, I wanna move it to like a seedier part of town. So I might make it a really seedy club. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> so I feel like I maybe missed the SM stream. We haven't gone to prom yet, have we? No, no prom yet, no slap. I missed, I think, two streams. I've had so many um, busy weeks that I missed so much. And I even think this week coming up, I need to jig the days around because I, I have a crazy few weeks again coming up, unfortunately. No, not unfortunately. <laughs> I don't mind, I don't mind. Okay, I want to, huh, I wanna lower this area here. Can I do that now I've done that? Can I do that? Is that gonna delete everything? Okay, let's not. Um, oh, I really wanted to have that lower. There should be a bench outside for that post-teen drama sulk. Yes, you're right. Oh yeah, actually, let me finish up all the outside first. I wanted to put like a nice banister, but I need to look outside. Like all, all these are very insidey. You know what I mean? Maybe that one? That's kind of ugly, hey? I don't like the way it's going in the wall on the other side either. What's this? Oh, that kind of, I guess that kind of matches the stone there. Yeah, let's do that. That's, uh, that's ugly. That's really ugly. Okay, that's not. And let's do... But it's the only... Oh, my God. Okay, let's do. Let's just do a plain rail. Sure. Health and safety. That's all it's there for. <laughs> I didn't realise you were on Twitch too. I love your videos and James's videos. Thank you so much. Here it's supposed to get to 20 degrees next week. Really waiting for that. Wait, where are you? Please tell me you're not the UK. I don't want that. <laughs> okay, we can put a bench over this way. No, I'm living in Finland. Okay, fine. Oh. Yeah, I heard it was going to be raining here all next week, and that made me so happy. <laughs> it's like, yes, rain. Okay, let's put some little, like, shrubs outside the front here. Make it really cute. Do we just do, like, straight up? That's cute. Oh, it's a shame we can't get. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, let's do let's do that. But then we need to move this back. Whoopsie. Move that back. Oh wow, look, so cute. Oh, it looks kind of. Uh, I hate I hate building. I love it and I hate it at the same time. Haven't we got a heat wave on the way to the UK? This is what they said, and now they're like, oh no, actually it's gonna rain. <laughs> Glad to see so many Nordics love you, Estonians, too. Ah. Oh, my God, everyone. Are you excited for Eurovision? Oh, I just see a comment. Robert, do you like Eurovision? Thank you so much for subscribing, Annie. Thank you. I'm going to the final in Liverpool next weekend, and I'm really excited. I was going to go to the final as a job, but um, something's happened where I didn't really want to, so... Um, but yes, we Eurovision. I'm re I usually I'm not into it so much, but I am. I am. After last year, I super got into it. You know, <laughs> you're live when I'm awake, Rachel. How's it going? Wait a minute, you're awake. What time is it over there? Thank you so much. Gamer Dragon, Gamer Dragons Miss. Mrs. Mrs. Miss. Just subscribed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can't wait for Eurovision. They're showing it in Odeon. The Cinemas 2. Oh, no way. That's good. Um, I like being at home, though, so I can um, go for a wee when I want to. <laughs> it's 9.41 p.m. Oh, why did I think it'd be like midnight for you? What's your favorite um, song this year? I actually, thank you so much for following Katie. Okay, Katie. Um, I haven't heard them. I actually haven't. Usually we watch the 
semi-finals and everything like that but we haven't so it's all going to be a surprise for me this year and I kind of prefer it that way because um yeah I'm like oh this is good or this isn't good I I hate listening to the song right when it's been like produced and it's really really good and then hearing it this is what I did last year and then hearing it being sung live and I'm like ah oh. <laughs> that's not what I was expecting you know what I mean Finland is my favourite this year. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Australia is going to win because we are very European. I always love Australia's entries. I didn't so much last year, but I, I always really, really like Australia's entries. And we have, what's her name is back? The one who sang Euphoria. That will be really good. I want a Eurovision party. So as a go as a country, wearing a flag only, eat the national dish and drink every time your country is mentioned. That's cute. Let's not get a bit of a headache again. But if we don't win, I hope Finland does. We, was, we were close to winning last year. Why is Eurovision so popular in the LGBTQIA plus community? My ex used to love it too. I'm curious, not trying to be rude. No, not at all. It's, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the um, appreciation of, um, I don't know, I don't know. For me, I think it's seeing all the countries and seeing their clothes, their song, the everything all together is, is kind of, I don't know, isn't that strange? I've heard snippets of the Nordic, Nordic songs and they're all good. I'm relieved to finally hear a decent Danish song. You know what? I, I do kind of get a little bit... I'm in two minds about everybody singing in English. Because I'm like, I love it when they sing in their own language. And you and it, it sounds incredible. Thank you for subscribing, Rachel. Thank you. Um, I remember about eight years ago when we were having the equal marriage referendum here in Ireland. The vote um, and the count was held at the same time as Eurovision. It was the most LGBTQ weekend in Irish history, I can imagine. I didn't know I wasn't subscribed. It's all right. Um, I'm a bad friend. No, not at all. Not at all. Um, I'm just going to change this up because this is too much. That's ugly too. Um, yeah, I love it when people sing in their own in their own language. And I, I love the song from last year. Was it Romania though? And he was singing in Spanish? But it was good. Thank you so much for following Candy. Thank you. Your vision is my is in my home city this year, Liverpool. True, I prefer native languages. Danish is so hard to make sound good in music, though. But we could try, but we could sure try. Sometimes the song is originally in Danish, then they change it to English for Eurovision. That sucks. Yeah, I know. Romania, that was it. It's a good song, though. <laughs> I love it. Um, I love it. Ethnic songs and instruments I find so interesting. This is what it's nice to... Um, hear, like, all the different um, traditional bits. It's nice to hear everything, you know? The hotel I work in is fully but for Yeah, you're going to be busy. I wish we could watch it here in the US. Can you not? Didn't you have recently... Um, Romania was amazing last year. And Spain was incredible last year. Um, didn't you guys in the US have, like, a song contest that was all the different states? Didn't Texas win? Everyone, thank you so much for following. I don't want to be busy. As we mean, always cringe when we go with a song in another language. I know. We had a great American song contest. That was it. Laureen is, is great this year too. Yeah, of course she is. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be part of um, Eurovision, the uh, unique music. Uh, I'm going to visit musical um, traditions from each country rather than everyone just trying to sound American. I know. Yeah, I really want... I, we'll see what happens this year. It's always nice when you hear, you know their native language. If they did have that, I missed it. I love foreign music though. Yeah, Sheila, they did. I swear it was, and she was a country singer. Right, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm just standing here talking. I can't bother to do the outside yet. Let's do inside. And I want to build like a half wall. I want to have like almost like a check-in area here. So let's get a small... Whatever half walls. How big is that? Mm, that's too big. And this is going to be too small. Oh no, perfect. Okay, cool. Like so. 
And ideally, I wanted like a step down, but I guess we're not doing that because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> um, if I did have that, I missed it. I love for our music. Because we're in Europe too. You know what? Um, it's really funny because Australia, of course, I know Eurovision. But it, like England, the UK. Wait, do we do England or do we do the UK? Or does Scotland and Northern Ireland have their own? We do the UK, right? I can't remember. Um, and um, what was I saying? We never win, but because we fund it quite heavily, and so do Australia, that's why we're, you know, we're always in it. I think hosting it this year, is it Alicia Dixon? I think. I can't remember. Thank you so much for subscribing, Violet. Thank you. Okay, um, where should we enter as UK? Oh, okay, cool. Twinkle, thank you so much for subscribing as well. Thank you, I appreciate that. Do you want me to walk you through how to do the step down? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> There's a type of Scandinavian song that is used to call the cows in and it's hauntingly beautiful. I love that kind of thing. I love a South but cannot handle country music either. You guys hate country music in Texas? Wait, is Nashville in Texas? Why does everyone go there? Look, it's not our fault that we're a European country that landed down here. <laughs> to be fair, you know what? I always think, Rachel, I always said that Australia felt like America and England mixed up together. <laughs> it was like English people in an American country. Nashville is in Tennessee. Oh, oh my God. I always fucking do this. I always, I always like, um, Texas, Tennessee. I always think Tennessee is in Texas. <laughs> So bad. First, grab the room tool. Okay, and that's in here. Room tool. Okay, done. It was like Alicia Dixon charted once and then got permanent contract on Britain's Got Talent. I love Alicia Dixon though. That I was watching Britain's Got Talent last night and it was, it was so shit. It was so shit. I'm not terribly stubborn for being raised in Texas. I want to go to the Bluebird Cafe in Nashville. No worries. We should hold a Eurovision video chat party in a Discord server for a grand f final Saturday. Oh, I so would, but I'm already, I'm already doing something. <laughs> now box build for room where you... So I want to like build it here, but is that going to delete the walls? <gasps> Thank you. And I guess I grab and go down. Oh wait, no. I won't get ahead of myself. Uh, Simon Cow was looking strange. Simon Cow, no, not there. Oh. Simon Cow looks like, um, remember Gloom, the Pokemon Gloom? Go back, okay, go back, go back, go back. Okay, I've gone back. Um, he, oh, this one. Platform, no, sorry. His kind of, his beard makes him look like his mouth is going downwards like this and like dribbling a little bit. Okay, so, room tour. This one. Yeah, he looks like he's allergic to something, right? So, I build a room. And then I grab the room. No, okay, no, okay. Which, where's the room tour? To me, it does all sound the same. I'm grateful it's not. Yeah, I think country music sounds the same as well. Zoe Marie, I, I did that and then I moved the um, room down, but it moved the whole building. <laughs> I was like, I can't do that. No, that's the right room tool. You need to draw the room where the front door is. But I don't want it where the front door is. I want it, I, I only want it here. I want this to go down. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for subscribing, Jen. Thank you. Like, I want the, the door to be up. Draw a wall. Then use the little up and down arrows. I did. <laughs> Country music is so whiny. There's some good stuff, but it, it does all sound the same. Yeah, so what you do is raise the floor by the front door, and then you can step down into the next room. Oh, no. I wanted this to be down. Because then it, if I... Okay, I see what you mean. So if I... I see what you mean. So if... So I box... If I box room this... 
and then raise this room. It raises everything. I see. Oh my God. Thank you. I was using the wrong up and down. I get, I get you. Thank you. Thank you. And then I'll just build a platform over there. You guys, thank you. What would I, what would I do without you? Give up. That's what I would do. <laughs> and I can just build my, you know what? We'll put, we'll put a fence in there. <laughs> And so then if I, if I did that, is that going to raise the whole thing again? It will. Okay, fine. We can just do steps up to that. That's fine. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Whew. <laughs> the Sims UI makes it harder anyway. I mean, this, that was so difficult. Do we be really tacky and put this in here? Like it's some kind of Italian rush. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? Am I not allowed to have this? Uh, my sister and my dad are both obsessed with country. They also do line dance. Oh, they asked me so many times um, to join, but I just can't. I listen to almost everything else. Yeah, country music is... It's a certain kind of music. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you have to be really... Um, Razor and back up a level, this one. Um... I don't know. I just don't understand how people hear it as different music. You know what I mean? Then raise the floor near the door one. Okay. Wait. Oh my God. Let's click over here. Is that when you the doors? Okay, this? Let's still remember that Miss Swift was country. Yeah, I'm... I, I think Taylor Swift is a nice person. I just don't really like her music. Please no one... Please no one attack me. Can I raise this down now? I put that there. Is that going to delete it? Oh, cool. Okay. Um... But I'm, sh but I know she can sing. It's like Lady Gaga. Like I know she can sing, but I don't like her music. Don't know what I've done there now. Anyway, let's just put stairs in. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Now this is gonna upset people, but I also don't understand why everyone's so obsessed with Harry Styles. Good afternoon, Robert. Good time zone. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? There are different styles in country, but it's not for everyone. I like Orville Peck, but I have to be in the mood for country. Yeah, I guess it, you know what I mean, yeah. You know what I really, really like is, I hate classical music, by the way. I really don't like it. It's really boring. But if I'm driving late at night, there's something about classical music where I'm like, oh my God, this is, this is what I'm doing right now is correct. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna, what should the theme be? We got red, so let's do like some like kooky walls. Or just one kooky wall. Let's have this back wall. Like, I feel, I'm feeling orange. Because it's teenagers and teenagers love kooky walls. Yeah, I kind of want orange and blue and green. Like some hideous color combination where nobody would ever decorate it like that. But it feels very... Nickelodeon <laughs> hangout, you know what I mean? I just did that outside as well. Thank you so much for following Simply Airy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Retro Dinos. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard a Harry Styles song. I think I have and maybe just not realised it. But maybe because I haven't been on lookout for it. Country music in the UK is the Wurzels. <laughs> Do we have country music in the UK? Isn't that more like flutes? Commander Zane, hello, how's it going? How are you? Actually, let's do this orange on here as well to keep it just as distasteful as the rest. Oh, fuck it. Where's the, where's the shift? 
There you go. <laughs> Let's go back to that wall. And do like a horrendous blue over this wall. Or like a crazy statement wall. No, that's ugly. And I did it anyway. Did it anyway. Um, ooh. Robert, oh, that's me. Look, Robert, I'm going to have to withdraw your Australian Cara Milk and Shape subscription based on your Harry Styles ignorance. No, I, no. I it still don't do that to me. <laughs> No, I mean, I get that he's successful. I just don't get, you know. I want, I do find, I have to say though, I do find the level of obsession with Harry Styles and Taylor Swift a bit strange. Like I get really liking something. Like I really like Disney and I really like Sailor Moon, but I'm not like constantly posting and talking about it. You know what I mean? Well... Well, that depends. <laughs> that depends on what I'm doing that week. <laughs> Let me just fix that wall. Okay. Okay, so this is ugly. And we can change it as we go. Flooring, I'm thinking something horrendous. Oh my god, is, any, is anyone watching Rise of the Pink Ladies? How terrible is it, but how great is it at the same time? Like, it's the worst, but it's like, I can't stop watching. <gasps> yes, horrendous. Let's go with that. Um, Wait, are you saying you're, you aren't obsessed with Disney? No, I absolutely am, but, to, but, but privately. <laughs> I Let me just say it this way. I had to mute the words Harry Styles and Taylor Swift on Twitter because every single post was, Taylor Swift makes an announcement and then every single person is talking about it for days and days and days and days. And then people do makeup things inspired by her and then they do things inspired by her. What's your favorite track? What is your favorite, what does it look like your favorite track is gonna be? Things like this and it's like, it's like, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you get it. I grew up with the best Disney Channel shows. It's crazy how far Miley, Miley, Selena, and Demi have come. I love all their music. Yeah, they're cute. They are cute. My best friend, Selena Gomez. <laughs> this is how I feel about Beyonce. She's very talented, but I don't get all the hype on her music. Yeah. I can't stand Taylor Swift's music. Thank you for making me feel seen. I actually don't know any of her music. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I can imagine she can sing, but I actually, I don't know. I've never heard any. Um, Robert, if you like discovering new foreign music, you have to check out. Oh, oh, oh my God. Sheila, please can you send that to me? Because I swear I saw somebody, I, I can't see the link because there's stars. I don't know what that means. But if you can send me that link, I swear I saw, I saw someone on TikTok talking about it and I can't find it. And it was, was it a website that shows you all the radio stations? Yeah, from around the world. Oh my God. Please, please send it to me. Or was it you who mentioned it before? Okay, perfect. Yeah, I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. I wanna listen to some like weird um, station in a deep south of America where aliens keep interrupting. <laughs> I message you on Insta, thank you so much, thank you. Uh, but all times I don't understand that, but obsessions get borderline creepy, yeah. Sid, welcome. Welcome. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I wonder if people are more nostalgic obsessed because they've seen them grow up so it's easy to feel like, yeah, I get that actually. Grandpa Bootsy, show me your toilets. Where do you get those toilet emojis from? Do you also like dance horror? But I loved, I, I still do like dance horror. I haven't um, kept up with it for a really long time. Um, Especially when I started to realize a lot of it was like severely homophobic. But yeah, there's a toilet. Thank you. That's so cute. I don't know why. But I was I was actually listening to it. I have this um, playlist on my um, in my on my Spotify. It's called Old Times, and it was like all my old music that I used to listen to, um, <laughs> and it, and it, loads of stuff came up on there. What's ugly? What can we do? Now, why do I why do I always have to go ugly? Why do I always have to? <laughs> Let's do that just so it matches. <laughs> I love a checkerboard floor. It has to be wipeable. It has to be easy to wipe and clean. You know what I mean? Oh, 
does this do? That's nothing I need. Um, I have a playlist like that too. It's full of good old emo music. Exactly. I got the toilet from an artist on Etsy. I used to stream just to be able to use my own emotes. Like the toilet. Oh, I love that. Okay, let me get some lights in here. Um, okay, how are we doing? So, cute. We're going to have some like tables. What do, what do teenagers do? What do they like to do? Drugs? Alcohols? We need... Oh, yeah. We were going to make this a bit more restaurant-y. So, I need... Um, let's type here. Restaurant. Did I spell that wrong? wrong? Let's go to the um, content. No, packs. We want to get to work. Get to work. Show all. Show all, please. Oh, wait, no, I'm in the wrong bit. Why do I do this? Why do I do this to myself? Get to work. Nice. Is it get to work? Yeah. Am I being really stupid? Oh, these lights are perfect. If we can just get a few. Oh no, they're really dim. That's not nice at all. That's almost too much. Uh, I need to head off now. I, um, I've i got some houses, house cleans to do. Oh, have a perfect day for it, Jay. I'll see you soon. We need a space to film their TikToks. Yeah, good point. My teen likes to build computers and hide in his room and then cook dinners, but I think I have an unusual teen. Yeah, that sounds unusual, but nice. <laughs> At least they're not screaming and like you're doing random, you know. Because I know that was me as a child. <laughs> um, I think I ended up in some random kid's TikTok at the bus stop the other day. See, I hate that. I hate the, being like... um in the background of people's videos, even though it's like my, you know, my job, I hate it. What's the theme? So I'm thinking, I want it to theme it. It's, it's a bit oddly decorated because I want it to be a place where you would see them hang out, like on the Disney Channel, you know, on like a random show where they have their hangout place, you know, and like Doug, when it was like, what was it, the Honker Burger? And then in, what else was it? Where else did they go? Saved by the Bell, they had that diner. You know, it's like like inexcusably decorated and they all go there. Packing up some of my makeup. Why do I have so much, so much stuff and yet not enough cutlery? My properties are, what? Teresa, do you have enough spoons? Because it's always spoons that go um, missing, right? It's always little spoons. All the time. Also, so been quite a medical episode. Been a tough time. Oh no, Rachel. He has no point to get sorted. Oh my god, I hope it's alright. I do not have enough spoons either. <laughs> exactly. Or or he dated Queen. How are you doing? Hi. Forks in our house. Yeah, spoons and forks. I think maybe I throw them away. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yes, good idea. Residential, um, cafe, let's do cafe, because it's more of that kind of thing. Requirements, espresso bar. Oh, you know what, let's get rid of this, because it's going to, ah, uh, thank you, this is such a good call. Um, and we want it to be like, no, which one can we have? That's like, hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's have this right at the back here. That looks cute. And that, is that really the only colour? Okay, I guess that matches. You know what? No, I do need, I do need some lights in here. L oh, no, I'm typing in lights. What's the time? Oh, I've been doing this for an hour already. Oh, my God, I haven't done anything. Thank you so much for following. I missed so many of your chat. Sorry. They would have a PlayStation pool table. Ah, oh, pool table, jukebox, a cheap drink hidden in the bushes. Exactly. You need some open spaces and some booths. Booths and a weird wraparound bar area for two old guys who are it to lean against years. Isn't it always like a 50s diner? Yeah, it is. It's almost like they've done a 50s diner and then decorated it really horribly. Uh, when I was a teen, I used to be sad and not get out of the house. Now I'm not sad and I still don't want to leave the house literally the same. I feel like this is a 50s burger diner. Yeah, but I want to do that, but I think I might add some green to make it less 50s. -ish. Thank you so much for following, Des... Desmariel? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so dyslexic. Padaboo, how are you doing? I do... Me, do I have plates? 
a microwave? No. Do I have about a thousand multicolor, multi-chrome plates? Yes. <laughs> exactly. You know what? You need things. Things are important. When I was a teen, all I did was sit in my room and cry because my mum didn't let me go out. Absolutely no idea. Oh. I bet Randrew comes here to flirt with the barrister and snoop on Eunice. Yeah. <gasps> Should he own it? No. Um. Hey, hey, Nisha, how's it going? Okay, I need to go do laundry and dishes. Have a great day. Have a good day, Chantel. See you soon. Definitely need a stage for everyone to show off their TikTok dances. Back in my day, alt goth was not a thing. Um, I was a headbanger listening to metal music. We had huge hair and wore jeans with band t-shirts. <gasps> That's what I want for me now. I'm still 19 though. I consider myself a teen still. I don't know what other teens do. <laughs> Let's get these stairs up here. Okay, and then I just want some lights because it's so dark. I need some. Mm, these are huge, aren't they? Yeah, that's too much. But I do want I do want it to be nice and bright though. How's this looking? That's cute. It's this is like do you know what I mean by like this is like rainy day lighting? Let me let me ask you a question, right? Everyone in this room, I'm taking it forever to, to make this thing. Um do you prefer your lights <laughs> in your house a certain way? Because in I have this thing in my, a rule in my kitchen. There's only two lights that I turn on ever. And if my partner turns on the other light, I'm like, no, you, you've made today feel like a rainy Sunday. I can't have that. Yeah, yellow lights. You like cool white lights. Oh, really? And like you, like you've done, like they've done the lighting wrong. It's like, no, that's not how you put lights on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, no, the lights need to be this way. Otherwise you made it feel like a Monday afternoon or you made it feel like a Sunday evening and it's not Sunday evening. <laughs> Please tell me, everyone agrees. <laughs> I only have, what do you call it in English? Fairy lights. Yeah, I can't stand lamps and it has to be warm lights. My lights are dimmers. Oh yeah, nice. Yes, yes, we have no lights off unless it's cloudy. Yeah, during the day, lights off, apart from there's some under my kitchen that I want on because it's a little bit dark in that corner. I bought some new, thank you so much for following. Tiggy dimples. Oh, I'm trying to decide what lights. Okay, let's do, oh, these cloud lights. That's very, um, no, they're too small. Everything's too small. Do I just go ahead? No, that's so ugly, aren't they? These? Mm, mm, everything's so ugly. Thank you for following. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. No, uh, no to a big light. Yeah. I have my brother's old nano leaf lights and they are wonderful. What's a nano leaf light? I always use the saucer lights in The Sims. The one that actually looks like the UFO one. Where is that actually? What are these? Oh. <laughs> See, I want it to be kind of like teen, te oh, what's this? I mean, that has to be somewhere. Let's put this over in this corner because that's cute. I just like that being that. Um, I guess these, no, they're not bright enough. I want it to be like, oh, that's fine. But I wouldn't, See, I w do I just do this? Let's, you know what, it's easy. I'm just gonna do one here, one here, and let's do one in the entrance. Okay, fine, done. Ah, uh, yeah, soft lights only. Yeah, I don't like bright ones. Honestly, Philip Hue lights are everything. Are they the ones you um, have from an app? I uh, do you use custom content in The Sims. I do on my other game. I play on my Mac usually, and this is on my PC. Um, yeah. What mad story are we thinking for this teen hangout? Well, you know what? I actually want to make a family that own it. And maybe she can be friends with the daughter. We'll force that on them. We can, we can modify their relationship. <laughs> and they can be friends. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Dining chair. I would like some booths in here. Here you go. Oh, no. Where's the nice ones? These. Oh, sh oh, I'll keep them blue because that's a really horrible, like, colour story. So we'll keep that. Let's do... Um, yeah, let's do one in this corner. And can I put them like this? 
Does that work or can I not fit around? Let's maybe make it bit, ah, cute. Okay, cool. Mm, will that work? Will that work? Well, if I do that, and then I can always move them, um, move this back a bit. Mm, that's ugly. That's so ugly. Let's put this here. Okay, let's put this here, and then we can have um, some like some tables over in this little area here. Saving them to my karma board. Robert made me use that. How am I, I still use it? I still have that karma. It pops up every time, <laughs> and it's and all the vouchers. Yeah, you buy the bulbs and bridge for Philips Hue, and you can control them from your phone. You can put any literal shade or combination of colors you want. <gasps> nice. That floor is horrific. Perfect. Love the emotes. Thank you. They're cute, aren't they? Table. Oh, we need to do some more dining chairs. We can do that soon. Perfect. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I like this orange and ugly greeny blue combo. I think that's kind of cute in a horrible way. Um, and then table, 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 table. Um, oh, that's so, that horrible. Let's do two of, oh no. Where's one I can put in the middle here? I want it to be more, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, I gotta go for my day out. Oh, yeah, see you soon. Have a good day tomorrow. Happy birthday. Whoops. That will do. Let me get it a nice colour, though. Like this? Is that ugly? That's kind of ugly, right? Um... Sorry, what am I looking at? Uh, I need to get up, but the kitty is cuddling under the blanket. Oh, silly glee, you can't move, you can't move. <laughs> Don't move that poor baby. Right, I'll be right back. I hear one of my little dogs, so I'm just gonna take him to the toilet. I'll be one second.
Hello. Hello, hello. Sorry about that. Just, um... Yes? I was, oh, was going to ask you or something, and I just completely forgot. Is everyone having stomach issues at the moment? All the time. That's my life. No, I've, I've been okay the past... Oh, you know what? Maybe I should put these in. Because they come with a table. But they don't fit my colour scheme. It's fine. I have the escrow in the house. <laughs> no, recently I have been... Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, let's, let's get rid of these. Recently I have been intermittent fasting which really helps my ibs um because i guess i'm not eating as often and as much as i would usually and it, my body has time to like digest or whatever and it, it really it really really helps so i've been okay and i and i, I kind of do it for like a week when i have like a really bad like flare-up or something um i should really get tested for ibs you know what if you know you have it you have it <laughs> Um, also, oh guys, how is the stream? Have any of you noticed any dropping out or it's been okay? Now that I've tethered myself, my IBS has gotten better with FODMAP, yeah. But it's so boring, I know, but you have to do what you have to do, don't you? Winnie, my baby. Come, come sit, no, no, come here. Oh, she, she, <laughs> Winnie, come back. <laughs> Why do dogs? Why do dogs, as soon as you move, they think they're getting food? <laughs> Why does this happen? <laughs> Stream's been good. Okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> just so uh, <laughs> Wait, wait, it's bolt. It's like you stand up and then they like run away and it's like, you're not getting anything. I was just... <laughs> I'm just getting up to go to the toilet and you think you're going to get a whole like extra meal. <laughs> oh, they're so cute though, aren't they? Okay, this is cute. Let's put in another table over here. Winnie, come here, baby. Come and say hello. Don't be rude. Don't be unsocial. Don't be like me. Actually, you know what? Let's move. Let's just do... Whoops. Whoops. Forget that. Uh, my husky. Thank you so much for following. Gala? Gala? Del? Sorry. <laughs> I got the MUA in my class yesterday, had the cutest baby angel, and it was so hard to work and not pet the adorable puppy. I would, yeah, I'll be, I'll be the same. But you know what? Just, this will just be my day with a dog. <laughs> For me, stress triggers it. Most alcohol and even very acidic foods. Stress is the most, like, you just wouldn't believe it, would you? But I, I get, um, travel, um, I call it travel stomach, <laughs> where I'm kind of like, I'm not nervous to fly, but I'm kind of nervous to travel and I get like like I call it like holiday stomach like travel stomach it makes me um yeah that's so true can we change this can this change color or no it can oh yeah we need to do this okay yes oh my god why didn't I see this before beautiful perfect um, yeah, stress is the worst. I think I've also quit alcohol, yeah. My IBS hates spicy food. You know, we love a good IBS talk, don't we? <laughs> Hi, my baby. Can I? Hi. No, don't, you're not getting anything. Come here, come here. Come here. Good girl. And then it's like, watch your head, watch your head. Can I say hello? Can I say hello? Not tall enough, like, there she is. Oh, your mouth is so orange. My little baby, Winnie. Oh, oh she's, she's annoyed. You stressed today? Okay, I love you, Alpina. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she's in a bad mood today. <laughs> Oh, we need to build a toilet. I didn't even think we're going to have to build like a little extension somewhere. Um. Oh, I didn't think of that. Let's do it here. We'll do it here. Whoopsie. Oh, is that too... Am I going to be able to fit a toilet in there? 
Oh, I just saw my connection drop. Are we good? Are we back? Or at least it's only once. <laughs> no, it's not gonna be big enough, is it? Crap, okay. Mm, we'll have to have it back here. And we'll just move that table. Totally forgot about toilets. Um, do a basement bathroom, good idea, let's do that. And then, wait, I need to put over thing because I can't see anything. I think this is where, where we are. Whoops. I wonder if we can do like a little, you know what, let's make it a little bit bigger and do like a kitchen, like a staff only kitchen. Do staff even work here? I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Does anyone's mail pup we on their own paw happens all the time with mine? Mine used to. It was really strange. He used to when he was younger and then he just completely stopped. Which, I mean, I would prefer he didn't, you know? <laughs> Let's see where that goes. Okay, that's fine. Let's turn off that grid again. And then we can move, that's dangerous, that's health and safety. Let's move that. Is that gonna be in the way? Yeah, that's really annoying actually. Okay, let's shift it around again. Let's do the booth here next to this booth. So they're not very private, but you know, that's live. Mm, no. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. We could, oh God, I don't know. I'm confused now. When I was a baby, my parents were told I had an allergy to dairy in 19... 83 it was still a bit odd and then I found out I had an intolerance to dairy like I do with wheat and then they were like it's IBS I drink peppermint tea and keep buscapan and it's a nightmare by the time I list all my ailments nice how we can all talk about IBS without judgment here yeah exactly this looks a lot better than the repurposed church <laughs> exactly thank you for following for cowit for, for cowits Will the table go near the front steps? It just might. I didn't want it to be like a nuisance, but then I realized it's the Sims. <laughs> does it really matter? Does that, is that look, does that look shit? Is that usable is my issue? I guess. We don't need three tables, or do we? No, that's fine. Okay, we'll put one here. This one can go, oh no, it's still, I still feel like it's in the way. That one can go here. That should do it. We don't want too many people in here anyway. <laughs> and then let's build a bit of wall. But like a half wall around this. Because health and safety reasons. What the fuck am I doing? What's happening? Okay. Then from here. Okay, fine. That's fine. And then I need this too. I hate it when it does that. Okay. Okay, that's, that's fine. We'll put a plant in this corner and it'll be great. <laughs> do you drink enough water, Robert? Dehydration is a common cause of um, headaches. P.S. I love uh, your attention to detail. Thanks so much. Yeah, I drink a lot now. I do and I drink like hydration stuff, but I have um, really a really tense neck and shoulders from my makeup working artistry days and I've had it ever since I can remember. Um, so now I'm having massages to get rid of it. Um, and the person who does, does my massages, she was kind of um, surprised at how terrible my shoulders were. <laughs> but you know what? That's life.
But yeah, when I mean, I drink loads of water now because when I don't, oh my God, like the headache is severe. But if I get like a tiny bit dehydrated, like if I dare have, you know, go to an event and have alcohol, I'm like, I might as well just smash my head open with a hammer. You know? <laughs> Thanks so much for following, Jean. Thank you. Uh, one of my friends used to have, has recurring migraines because of a tense back and neck. Yeah, exactly. It's awful. I have the same neck issue for a different reason, but I get tension headaches and have a migraine. Yeah, I get it. And it's randomly as well sometimes. Okay, now this, I mean, this looks great. If I was a teen, this is where I would want to hang out. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for following, Charlie. Thank you. Okay, let's build these. We still need to do a lot up here. Don't get me wrong, it's not finished. But let's build this, because now this looks like some kind of, like, murderer's dungeon. I guess we can carry the theme out from upstairs as well, down. Just so they know they're in the same place. <laughs> um. Yeah, sometimes it happens super suddenly, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the staple of very good teen hangout, a murder dungeon, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it does look. It does look a bit. Um, yeah, it's not. The, it's not the best down here. But you know what? Get get some lights in. Actually, let's let's just use the same lights we use upstairs because. Because why not? And then, we, what was this again? Oh, toilets. Okay, so if we put some lights here and then we can build the toilets. Is that going to fit if I do this? Nice. And then we'll just, I mean, how many people need a toilet at the same time? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my God, that really shook me. Frankie, don't be silly. Someone must be outside. Um, still leaving. You have um, a very, a very little nook where the teens meet to have serious one-on-one -on -one conversations. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whoops. That's a little bit too far across. We want it to be kind of equal. Okay, so, oh, Jesus. Okay, toilet, toilet. Okay, one of them's gonna have to be smaller than the other. That's fine. Boys don't need that much toilet room. And then let's just copy the lights. Beep, beep, boop, boop. This is, I'm thinking kitchen area, so we can do like a staff only. through this way so you can see and let's just do we'll just do stores because i don't want to do like a whole bathroom situation you know what i mean i'm gonna play the sims i do not very well but i play it <laughs> um make it like spoons toilet make them travel up the stairs oh i went to this restaurant the other day in in covent garden and the toilet was, I'm not joking, it went on and on just to get to this toilet. So much so that the restaurant kind of made a joke out of it and there were like signs saying, almost there. I was like, this isn't funny. I've just eaten a whole massive burger and I, I don't want to be doing all this walking <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> These aren't going to be any like nice fancy toilets. Not like the ones in our house. <laughs> Maybe we can put like, I don't know, we'll put um, a plant in there or something to make it seem nicer than it is. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> you could add that one guy that sells polo mints and aftershave in the boys' bathroom. <laughs> Fragr fragrance. And he always has dupe. What about um, drunk toilet gatherings? Because you know that happens where all the, where we all congregate in the toilet because the night is boring and strangers in the bathroom are much more interesting. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have that much room. You know what? I am building a seedy club, though. <laughs> <laughs> a 
let me get some I, I just want like a few plants um decorations plants how's that yeah there you go most def oh oh mm -hmm. okay actually you know what this is more this is more restaurant level tasteful we'll put that down here and um that's fine that's on toilets you know what it's missing the floor i just realized but i don't want to do the same floor why don't we do like a wood yeah that looks kind of homely right <laughs> covering that sucks so much out your dad's bed now oh, what happened um and if a man wears one million by Paco Rabanne, i used to love one one million was my fragrance back in the day but now like you i can't stand it the smell makes you makes me feel sick Oh no, that's not very the theme of this place, is it? We want like a kooky mirror. Kooky mirror. Aw. I don't know what that is. I guess I just uh, an average mirror is fine then. Let's put that here. And then I want to do like a staff only. Do we have like staff only doors? Or am I getting that confused with um the Sims 3 <laughs> or 2. I can't remember which one it was. Um, do staff even work in this place? Boys only. Gills only. Um, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Right. Well, we'll figure that out later. Uh, it's always links. Oh, I can lock it, can't I, when I get to the actual game? It's always links, dark temptation, links. Ooh. This is definitely looking like some bathrooms where I've seen people do lines back in the day. <laughs> it's a teen hangout. It's not that kind of place. <laughs> I just want this to be like a really horrible kitchen, so we'll just put that in. We need a safety floor, so there's no slipping around. So we need like, yeah, like this. That looks like a safety floor, that's possibly dangerous. What else do we need? A waste disposal, okay. So if I put that here, because that's a good kind, right? And then we can do kitchen. I want it to be like all metal. Where's that weird? Yeah, there you go. No, I can't stand where I just did that. Let me change that. There you go. And then, I mean, I don't really think. Oops. Um, I guess, I guess we'll do this, but I don't know. <laughs> I swear, like, the coffee places weren't really, like, um, um, restaurants where you go in and, I don't know. Like, don't they just help themselves to coffee? I can't even remember. Oh, this is what I want. Yeah, get that, get one of these in here. Must be placed on wall. Right, right. Let's delete this. Just get that out of the way for good measure. What's this plate? This one. Oh, I see. Okay, no, I don't want that. I want this, really, don't I? I just clicked on the same thing. <laughs> we put that here. Nice. And then a fridge. I don't know, do people have fridges in restaurants? I guess they do. This is more for looks. This is more for looks. This is a kitchen where they charge £8.50 for a tin of Campbell's soup and buttered bread and caught homemade. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello, I loved you for over a year. First time here, though. Thank you so much. Put a big, big, big sink in. Or just maybe a few sinks. There you go. That looks kitchen-like to me. I swear there was like, if I type in staff only, would it? Or just staff? No, okay, that's fine. Well, we can lock the door when it comes to actual gameplay. Um, what's this? That's perfect. There you go. 
Boom um, Sunny Kitchen, like, exactly. <laughs> Robert, have you ever played The Sims 2? I played every Sims growing up. I can't remember The Sims 2, though. I remember The Sims 3 a lot. But The Sims 2, I, I can't remember a lot of it. Okay, we've got everything we need for there. Let's put a... Um, electronics, and then we want a jukebox, of course. You have to have one of those. Does it come in different colors? Perfect. So all the kids can uh, dance. Sims 2 had an interesting story type thing. It did. I played Sims 2 on PS2, only Sims game I've played where you could control the character in third person. You should play the older ones on stream. They would be fun. I really want to. I know Sims 2, you can download all of them on Mac now. They're in the App Store. Um, yeah, I can't find it even, um, kittens. I can't find it either, um... Uh, Sims 1. This needs to be more central, doesn't it? Let's put this over here. No, that sticks out like a sore thumb. I wish it was bigger. You know what? Let's put this over here. It's so, it's so small. It's kind of underwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> Let's do some speakers. Actually, no, because random music's going to come out of them. Uh, underwhelming size. <laughs> Don't be nasty. Don't be nasty. <laughs> Not going to lie, a rubber feature in the Sims 1 was kind of cool. The, as in, like, the guy who broke into your house terrified me that music that would come up it would like boom, and then yeah. <laughs> everything horrible would happen oh puzzle set let's put this like there so it looks like a games cafe that's kind of modern um wasn't i wasn't it wasn't story but it gave you objectives oh i think it doesn't let you post links does it sorry are you going to put in an arcade machine? I can. I was trying to find them the other week and I couldn't find them at all. But I have everything unlocked, so I should be able to find them. You know what we do need? We need, like, um... A few little... You know, let's make a... A bit of a feature wall here. Because... No, hate it. Ugly hate it. What's this? Modesty matters privacy divider. That's cute. Oh, is that for a bathroom, though? <laughs> Actually, this could look... Oh, I can't be able to do loads, so. Well, we just have one there. Anti-balloon balloons. <laughs> you know what? I need some neon. We need some neon in here. Neon. If we pour... We need coffee. Big coffee sign. One here, and let's put one in the outside as well, because that's kind of... That's going to annoy me. Why is that? That's all changed. That's fine. Okay. They're not symmetrical, are they? That's going to annoy me too. I need to put this down a little bit. No. Okay. <laughs> Unless this go up a little bit. That's fine. It's done. I've taken down all my braids. I would like to rival the chat for keeping me entertained. <laughs> Think, not rival. <laughs> Audra, how long did that take? Rubber used to, music used to give me so much anxiety as a 10 year old. I know, I know. Did anyone ever manage to have a baby with a Grim Reaper? No, but I always tried.
when we'll see a Disney inspired build from you. Maybe one day, but I don't want to. I don't want to insult Disney with my building skills. <laughs> I saw it last night. I think total three hours. Do your arms ache? That to me sounds like exercise. <laughs> my arms going any higher than here? <laughs> Oh, I love these pumpkins. They're so cute. Um, nervous subject. <laughs> Robert, what do you think of the Wish trailer? Um, it was it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. I'm, I will, of course, watch it. I, I feel like there's some movies where it gives me straight to Disney Plus kind of feelings. Um, and that might be one. But it was all right. I, I, I do this with a lot of Disney films. Like, I I watch them and I'm like, oh, that's much better than I thought it would be. But they'll get it right, won't they? Grim Reaper's baby daddy. I want that for me. I'm going to do, I'm going to make that happen. Grim Reaper's baby. Not for me in real life. Me and The Sims, you know? I'm looking for something to put on this table, but I don't really need anything. Okay, it's looking cute. Okay, arcade machines. If I type in arcade, there's one. Oh, I mean, oh, it's pretty big, isn't it? Okay, let's put that right here. Because then, ah, oh, pink. That's cute. <laughs> Tried having a baby with a Grim Reaper is the most <laughs> emo thing I've heard all year. <laughs> yeah, I got that with Ryan, ended up loving it. Yeah, same. Wish The Sims 2 had a search function. Oh, it, does, it doesn't. Thank you for clarifying you do not want to have a baby with a Grim Reaper in real life. Just so everyone, everyone knows. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, we got this. We got that coffee thing. We got seats. What are we missing? What does everyone else want to see? Shout things at me. I think we need something here. Let me do another neon sign, because you can't have enough neon. <laughs> A pool table, yes. Let's do one of those. Oh, that looks cute. Oh, no, not that one. This one. Let's just put that there for no reason. Okay. Cool. Oops. Table. <laughs> okay, let's try and find ourselves then, since it's not doing A uh, chess set for the nerds. Yes. Is it like a photo booth? Um, I think there is, actually, because that comes in... <gasps> there is! Doesn't it come in the... The latest... Not the latest one, but one before? Um... What does someone say? Pool candle. So it's going to be in activities and skills, right? Let's just look at all of them. Wait, uh, thanks for, thank you for following Leona. Sorry, my my speech. Um, high school years. That's it. Wait, is there a pool table? I swear there is a pool table. So I'm doing my thing. I have to start at the bottom and go up. Oh, what's this? Splash pad whale butt. Cute. Um. Hello, Sophie. Hey, how are you doing? Thanks for joining. We're just looking for a pool table. I swear there was one. Elite jamming table. I don't know what that is or what that means. Mega cooler. That sounds good. Um, there's lots of stuff and things. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, actually, because I have insane pain tolerance as well. Oh, sorry, I keep, I keep coming into people's conversations and reading half of what, <laughs> what they're saying. Bubbly relaxation. <gasps> Naughty. Oh, here. I guess we can put in ping pong. Yeah. Or a game table. Let's do this. I don't think, I swear there was pool, but I guess there isn't. That fits in perfectly. I wish I made it a little bit wider, you know? 
There's no pool tables in the sense of our, ah. Any outdoor seating or activities like cornhole. What is cornhole? That sounds like a gross food. <laughs> I had to go rewash Splash the other night mentioning it here. Oh yeah, still super cute and funny. I learned that it was the first Touchstone movie. Um, which was labeled, which was a label created by Disney. What? So that they could release movies with adult themes? No way. That's cool. Um, beanbag toss. Oh, okay. I think it's a bit crammed. Yeah, it looks, cr it's crammed, right? So, okay, here's what we'll do then. Let's move this, because I do like the idea of having this in there. So let's move this here, because that looks less crammed, and then have this. Here. Uh, do I just do I build an extension onto this? <laughs> I think it needs to be bigger. I think it needs to be bigger, right? Is there room for a ping pong table in the basement? <gasps> yes, yes, there is. Wait, is there? Yes. This can be where the older kids come out. Come out? <laughs> I think it come out here. I mean, hang out. <laughs> Um, comfort, right? Seating, surface, it's comfort. <laughs> let's do some, let's do like a nice sofa, but like. Hmm. Yeah, like this. Like not too nice. Like waiting room nice, you know what I mean? But then everyone can see you go to the toilet. And what if you want to go for like a number two? Everyone will be outside and they, they can hear. <laughs> Uh, come out, boys. Downstairs, everyone. And upstairs for the arcade. And Yeah, maybe you're right, actually. You do outdoor movies if you have a camping stuff kit. I don't, but I will buy it. And then maybe we can do a whole area. That's camping. That'll be really cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Random... Re oh, let me hold that. Random request, Robert. But I was wondering if I could make a request. Uh, it's my friend's birthday tomorrow, and she absolutely loves you and James. And she, uh, she actually recommended you to me over a year ago, and we've been watching your videos together since. Is there any chance you could wish her a happy birthday? Her name is Chloe Fox. She's going to be 26 tomorrow, and I know she loves it. Absolutely happy birthday, Chloe, for tomorrow. 26, that's a good number. Over 25, so you're, like, old enough to be, you know bearable to the 30 year olds <laughs> but also young enough to be bearable to the early 20s good age it's a good age happy birthday chloe have a best day sunday morning stream yeah they need bottles of poo oh poo <laughs> it's like sheila what the <laughs> what do you think is in this game <laughs> Listen, I really liked the idea of an upstairs area for the arcade stuff. Do I? Oh no, I have to go in a minute. What's the time? Oh my god, I've been. A... Okay, let's do it. I want. I. I quite like the idea of the arcade, arcade, arcade upstairs, and maybe a little sofa area. And I saw somebody say TVs, um, so I might also do that. Thank you for following, newbie Fira. <laughs> so far, reading me. Have you seen the mods, Robert? Yeah, maybe there will be one. <laughs> okay, let's get some... Let's do it. Let's put a staircase in. That can go... It's not going to go... Let me just delete this roof. And then maybe we can have an outside... Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Oh. It's Christmas. Why? Why won't you go against the wall, though? What's happening? Mm, is it annoying here? Is that annoying? It's a little bit annoying, right? Mm. Can, I, can I go up and then down? No, I guess not. Okay. Uh, how? What about a pinball machine for upstairs? Yeah, I think I want to put some more stuff in there. Crazy Queen, hey, how are you doing? Hi, I'm new. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. 
an outdoor staircase. Yeah, maybe we should. If it's annoying and it's perfect. No, not bottles of poo. But also not trying to kink shame anyone. <laughs> Why? Oh, you know what? Maybe I wonder if we can do like a um a kind of like this kind of like you know what it is? It's like it's like clinging onto this bit here. Oh, what if it, I did it over here? No, because that's not why I want a staircase. Oh, God. Why is the sim so hard? <laughs> you know what? Let's... Okay, let me just try something. I want to see if I can do it... Here. I know that's kind of irritating. But let's see if we can then build, like, a nice... Like, I guess... And look, people can come and cry in this corner. When their friends are being horrible to them. <laughs> a ladder! Oh my god. You know what? Some of you are too smart for your own good. <laughs> Why are you not letting me, though? What does it say? Ladder, ladder must, ladder must be connected to block or terrain. All right, all right. Can we do it down? Okay, I guess a ladder isn't it. Every hangout needs a crying corner. Exactly, exactly. So why? Hmm. Confused. I am confused. Why won't it let us? Does it need to be... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? It's the wrong way around. Thank you so much for following. I missed the name. Bob? <laughs> I said Bob or something. Ah, I'm sorry, I missed that. I need to get some wireless in-ear ones so I don't get, like, headaches all, all the time with those massive ones. It was you, Bobalicious. Thank you so much. If you click the main part of a building, you can extend outwards and make it a bit bigger. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, let... Okay, let's do that and add in a, a proper staircase then so it's not, like, in the way too much. God, this place is just getting bigger and bigger, isn't it? Perfect area. Another crying corner. We'll put the staircase in and then... Yeah, that's better here. Oh no, because we don't want it to be there. We want it to be... We want it to go up. There. Move this. Really, it's just letting us do anything. <laughs> Can it go... Ugh. Can it go right in this corner? Because, yeah, okay. But, okay, fine. <laughs> All my builds and sims. Super hyped to see you here on Twitch. I follow you on YouTube and other platforms as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, I tell you what. I feel like I'm better at doing things on other platforms than I am playing The Sims. We'll just say that for now. <laughs> Wait, so where does it, where do the stairs come up? What what's what happened here? I'm so confused. So what these stairs aren't going aren't going anywhere. What? What? It's cause the floor's lowered. Oh wow. Okay. Right, another platform. <laughs> You know what? Let me just build the building so I know exactly where. Let's have it out here. And then we can have, like, summertime roof area. This can be, like, a little hangout area. That can be, like, summertime roof. Let's, um, this, please, can go here. Oh, 
Vega. Okay. Oh no, but I kind of let me just try. Let me just see if a staircase will work. If not, I'll just build. I'll just build a platform. Yay! Okay, cool. Beautiful. I don't. I don't like the floating kind of thing, so I still kind of want to build a wall around it. I think. Just like there, and then we can slide. Slide these up to here. God, this has been a, a chat. Right, fucking stop. This has been a challenge today. I think, like, we're all great together at building something really horrendous and ugly, but when we want it to be a little bit practical, it's more of a challenge. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's gonna let me... Oh, it did. Why wouldn't it let me build it next to the, the wall before? Let's move this window. Go here. Okay, I have to fix the lighting in this place as well because it looks a bit dodgy now. Okay, cute. Okay, and then we can move this table a little bit more here. This table can go more here. And then I think we can, should we maybe put in another table here. And then we can move all our like pract practical, like doing things stuff upstairs. Let's have too many chairs in that one. That's cute. That's for parties. <laughs> <laughs> Reservation only. And we have booze. Okay, this is cute. We have some outside seating. Okay, nice, nice, nice. The building is thwarting you at every turn. <laughs> that's, a, that's a word. You know what? Let's move this here. Can we get... Hmm, what if we did another... This might look really ugly, so I'll just delete it. Sure, let's do that, and then let's put this here, this here. I'm thinking too practically, I'm like, how many tables can we get in when we don't really need to? That's fine. Move this here. Where's the jukebox gone? There, okay. Yeah or no? There's an extra bit of wall outside. Where? Where? Where's it gone? Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, God. <laughs> Get the fish bowls out and it will tell. Oh, my God. Yeah, cute. Oh, yeah, we need some big lamps. Whoops. No, but should we do a little. Okay, you know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of this downstairs. Let's just come up. And get some game area going. I'll pop them. I'm so bad at windows. I just I just shove them anywhere. It's like, yeah, that's great. Perf perfect windows. <laughs> And then if we can actually get the same door, we can refine this a little bit more later. Um, keyboard for when they're doing unplugged Harry Styles. <laughs> Cute, okay. And then let's do a little half wall around this staircase here. Um, actually, I want it. I think I want it smaller than that. Okay, we might have to. I'm gonna have to save this. I need to. I need to stop. Um. Yes. Okay. I need to. I just realized what time is. So uh, next Sims thing, we'll finish you upstairs, and then we'll get Eunice, <laughs> Eunice to come in. And try it all out. Try and make some friends. Um, and um, actually have a life. 
Because <laughs> at the moment, she's not really doing anything except from arguing with Wolfgang. So we can we can do something a bit better for her there. Thank you so much for being here. Sorry about the, the schedule this week. Uh, what day is it say? Sunday. So um, I can't do tomorrow. I can't do Tuesday. <laughs> Wait, can I do Tuesday? I'm going to have to look at my schedule. So, so keep an eye out for it. I'll post it on... Um, on my socials somewhere as well. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh my God, it might have to be Saturday and Sunday again, or Sunday again, and then maybe Friday, I can't do Thursday, or can I do later Thursday? I'll keep you updated and, and let you all know. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for subscribing, following, doing everything. I will see you very, very soon. Thank you for joining me. Have a good weekend rest of the weekend. I know it's coming to an end. Um, where do you post updates of when you be online? So on my Twitch profile, it will, there's a schedule there, but I also post it on Discord, which is linked to my Twitch profile and on my Instagram stories as well. It'll be on there as well, but just check on my, on my Twitch thingy. And I should, I, I can do that tomorrow. Yes. All right, everyone. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.